to show the functions of the aligning tools, let us draw two different rectangles and select both of them. When you click on the align left tool, you will see that left sides are aligned. When you click on, let us undo it again, when you click on align right tool, right sides are aligned. Let's undo it again. When you click on align top, top sides, and when you click on align bottom, the bottom sides are aligned. If you click on align centers vertically, Align centers vertically makes the centers of both shapes come on the same vertical axis. Just like that, align centers horizontally makes the centers of both shapes come to the same horizontal axis. Align middle makes the centers of both them equal position. This means they just coincide each other. To show the function of the layer tool, let us make one of the rectangles in blue. Simply select it and click on the blue color in the bottom line. And when you click on empty space, you will see that its color is now blue. You can differentiate all shapes with their colors by this way. You can select it and then click on different color in here. And then its color is that color you selected. Now, when we click on the layer tool, you will see that the blue one and the black one are given at two different lines. and it gives us the permission to make one of them visible or not and to lock anyone we want. For example, let us make the black one invisible. This makes, you see, the black one is vanished. If you click on visible again, you will see the black one. And if we click on the blue one, for example, and say it lock and OK. Now the blue one, when we select it and try to move it, you will see that you will not be able to move. But this one, the black one is not locked, so you can move the black one. Showing this, we finished the functions on the left menu and the functions on the color menu on the bottom. And let us talk about the functions on the top menu a few minutes. These tools are, as we talked before, about running the program. And you must, you must be familiar to these tools because these are the tools which are used nearly the same in every program. This is the new document. Open new document tool. If you click on new, first of all, it asks you whether we, you, you will save the changes you have done or not. Because when you open a new file, the old file will be closed. So if you want to save the changes in them, you will click on save. Yes. If you will not, then click on no. Now we will not save this. There is nothing important. So. No, we clicked on. We opened a new template and then we draw a rectangle on it. Now, if you want to save this rectangle, click on the save icon on the top menu. You will see that its extension, file extension, extension is ECP. This is important. For example, let us save it as one ECP. Let us name the file as one and 
on the desktop that I selected. On the desktop, then the file is will be saved as one.ecp. If you want to open that file, simply you will click on the open tool, this tool, and then it will ask you to show the file to, to that will be opened. And you will see that on the desktop there is one ECP. We will click on it and then open it and the one ECP comes on the screen. There are two more tools. One of them, them is import. Import can be done using this icon in here. If you click on the import, it will ask you to find the location of the file that you will import and the file extensions that can be imported in LaserCut are given in this menu. These are Plotter Format PLT, Adobe Illustrator Format AI, AutoCAD Format DXF, the Tajima Format DST, Bitmap Format. These are from this point to the bottom. These are the image formats. Mastercam, JPEG. You will see GIF files, PNG, TIFF files, and the other image formats are listed in here. You can import these file extensions to LaserCut. And these ones are highly enough because you can convert any file to these extensions. So you can use, this means you can use any drawing in laser cut software simply by importing it into the laser cut 5.3 for example let us find some file and then import it and you will see that we imported this drawing from plt format you can also export the drawings you have done in laser cut. If you have done a drawing in laser cut, you can do two things to save this to save this drawing either by saving if you click on save, you can save it with the extension extension of ECP. ECP Files can only be opened by laser cut again. But if you export this simply by clicking on the file option on the top menu bar and clicking on export, it will ask you which format do you want to export it. Let us make it day. DXF. There are two formats. Whether you, you can use PLT or DXF. Let us use the AutoCAD format and name it as one, the file name. And let us select the desktop for the place of exporting. When you click on here, now that file is exported as AutoCAD format. Let us clean everything on this template and let us import the one that we exported a while ago simply by clicking on the import from the file menu or clicking on import in here. Import and one point DXF select it and when you open it you will see that one point DXF came to your screen you can select all and carry it into the middle of the template 
and then make the template fit on the screen. This tool is the pick tool as we have been using, using since the very beginning. This one is the zoom in tool. When you click in this one and select the piece in a rectangle that we, you want to zoom, then that rectangle fits into the screen. If you click on zoom out, then it will get farther and farther gradually. And let us show the very next tool. This is the pen tool. When we select the pen tool and click on one point on the screen and pull it to another point and leave on the left click, you will see that the table is moved into that direction. Zoom to table tool is when you click on this, you see that the table is fitting on the screen. When you click on zoom to object, the drawings will be zoomed. When you click on this, you will see that the drawing is on a rectangle and this, this rectangle is zoomed to fit our screen. This is undo tool and this is the redo tool as we have been using since the very beginning. These tools are for the laser operating functions. So we will show the functions of these tools later.